The number one question I get as a loan officer, is a credit pull gonna dive my credit score? You might be surprised at the answer. In this episode, we're gonna talk about what is a hard inquiry versus a soft inquiry, what happens when you do a hard pull, and how to avoid your credit score going down in pre-approval. I'm Jen Hernandez. I've been a mortgage lender since 1995. That's a lot of years. And I've closed thousands of loans. I've helped thousands of people, which means I pull a couple thousand credit reports per year. So I've become an expert in credit, and I wanna give you these secrets that you might not find in your research on the internet. So a hard pull means that we're pulling your credit and it is a hard inquiry on your credit. It means that there's gonna be a record with the bureaus. Now remember there's three credit bureaus. There's Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And there will be a hard inquiry into those three bureaus. Does that dive your credit score? No, it doesn't. So what happens when a mortgage company pulls your credit is that in a 30 day period, any inquiries into your credit just count as one. So there could be 10 companies that you authorize to pull your credit and it will just count as one inquiry as far as points are concerned. And furthermore, your points are not gonna change from the inquiry for 45 days. Now, if your credit is super strong and you're in the high 700s or 800s, that mortgage pull, that inquiry is gonna be like a little bird pecking on a still building. Like it's barely gonna make any difference at all because your credit is super strong. Now, if your credit is marginal, you might have something to worry about, but if you're not doing a bunch of other things at the same time, like getting credit increases, getting new credit cards, you really don't have anything to worry about. Not to be too afraid of a hard pull, it's great to be concerned about your credit, but not to be worried if you're doing all of this within a 30 day period. Now, there's a lot of companies, this brings me to talking about a soft pull. So what a soft pull means is that we're just kind of, we're going in there and kind of softly pinging at your credit. It's not a hard inquiry, it's not reported to the bureaus, and it lets us see the scope of your credit and give you some information without doing that hard pull. Now, eventually, we're going to have to go in and do this. Definitely when you're under contract and we're going into the lock the loan, we definitely have to. Now, I do wanna mention there are some risks with this soft pull system. This means that we're gonna to have to repull your credit again. Even if we pull your credit soft pull and you buy a house within a month, we're gonna to have to do it. Now, so I do wanna let you know that lenders really don't like to repull credit because usually, not usually, but in a lot of instances, the credit score might go down. It could go up, which could be great, but it can also go down. So it's really important that you talk to your lender when they pull your credit and say, hey, what do I need to do? What do I need to keep doing so that my credit is either the same or higher when you do that next credit pull at the hard inquiry stage? Should you be able to get a pre-approval with a soft pull? Yes, you should be able to get a, a pre-approval with a soft pull credit. Can you close with a soft pull credit? The answer is no. So let me hear your questions. I really wanna hear your questions about this because this is the number one reason that I get as a concern from homeowners. So ask, ask, ask away. I reply to comments as quick as possible. Now, the next thing I wanna go over is how to avoid your credit going down during pre-approval. So let's say we did a soft pull or hard pull, either one. If we did a soft pull, then you need to keep, start and stop doing a couple of things. So make sure no new credit. Do not open a new credit card. It doesn't matter if you're getting a 20% discount. No new accounts. Did you know that new accounts will reduce your score before it will go up? It will reduce it for like 12 months. So in 12 months, you'll start earning some points back. So please don't do it. The next thing is you want to keep your credit cards below 30% of the high credit. If you're charged up and you're trying to pay credit cards down, you wanna get at least below 50%, but under 30% is ideal. So you wanna get there and you wanna stay there. What that means is when your credit statement cuts off for that month, that balance that's reporting is less than 30% of your high available credit. Okay, so we go by the statement date. That's what gets, this is a secret. That is what is reported to the bureaus is your balance on the statement cutoff date, 
okay? So you definitely want that to be greater than zero because if it's zero, it means that nothing is gonna report. There's nothing to report, your balance is zero. So you want it to report something, even if it's just a little bit, to really spark the algorithm in that score. So those are the two most important things, new credit, not doing new credit, and paying attention to your balances. That's the surest way to keep your credit the same or higher during the pre-approval process. Let me hear from you. I'd love to hear your questions. You're probably wondering, what is a pre-approval versus a pre-qualification? And do you need to pull my credit for this? Stick around. I've got a video right here. We'll see you on the next one.